tickets for the fight. Got my My Vegas show tickets. And I got a VIP table at the club. This trip's gonna be lit. Hello? Wait, all the events are canceled? And the concerts? There's nothing to do in Vegas. Says who? It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, despite a successful reopening, Vegas isn't exactly the same. That shows in revenue reports, that shows in occupancy reports, and most importantly, that shows in the activity planning. Many of us may prefer to wait to go back to Vegas until the mask mandates go away and the fist fights calm down. But for the hardcore Vegas veterans that are still planning their trips, this video is for you. I've got the top 11 best things to do in Vegas right now. Why top 11? Because as you know, I like to go even further beyond. So let's kick the tires and light the fires. This is the top 11 things to do in Las Vegas right now. Number 11, exotic car rentals. Now, when I'm in Vegas, I like to ride in style. I don't like driving the strip, so I'll opt for limo transport when available. But for those of you who like the speed and the control, consider renting a high-end sports car. Supercars have been the crutch of some men and women who are lacking in certain other departments, but they're nonetheless fun to look at and even more so to drive. Depending on if you just want to take a few laps around the track, or actually take them to the strip, Supercar rentals like Dream Exotic or Speed Vegas are great ways to scratch that itch. You may not win enough money at the casino to take it home, but at least you got to enjoy the test drive. It might be expensive though, with packages usually average around $300 to $500 a day in some cases. So the budget-minded driver might want to stick with Avis for now, but a rental Ferrari Fantasy is good enough to race into 11th place on this list. Number 10 zoos and aquariums roaring into the number 10 spot are zoos and aquariums vegas is famous for many things but one of the lesser appreciated attractions seem to be the animal ones there are several places to get a little more up close and personal with nature on the strip and learn a bit too there's the flamingo habitat at the flamingo the shark reef at mandalay bay and of course the late siegfried and roid's secret garden most zoos and habitats tend to be outdoors, and most of the aquariums are spacing out groups at the entrance without requiring a specific reservation for your visit, meaning this is a flexible way to spend time with your family, your spouse, or even just yourself in Las Vegas. Number 9. Museums and Exhibits Vegas is loaded with a surprising amount of culture, and the museums and exhibits sprinkled around town, on and off the strip, are no exception. Whether you're looking for something intense like the Mob Museum, something nostalgic like the Neon Museum, something educational like the Titanic exhibit, or even something elegant like the Bellagio Gallery of Fine Art, Vegas has a little something for you. They've even updated some of their galleries and exhibits, like the Bodies exhibit, with information about a certain virus that's going around. And that's enough for them to catch the number 9 spot. Number 8. A Mount Charleston Trip One of the best things to do in Vegas right now, admittedly, might not be in Vegas. With the pandemic in full screen and mask restrictions up, it might be more fun for you to get some fresh air off the strip. Horseback riding, hiking trails, and mountain biking are just a handful of things that you can do after taking a 45 minute ride away from the city and into the natural beauty that surrounds Glitter Gulch. Don't expect any showgirls to show up, but at least you'll be able to guarantee six feet of space between you and other hikers. And it might serve as a good place to take that car that you rented at the start of this list. Mount Charleston mounts up to number eight. Number seven, shooting ranges. If you thought the Ferrari was exotic, consider this. 
a Humvee and several armored mercenaries come to pick you up from your gold-studded hotel room. They suit you up, sit you down, and point you towards a row of targets and let you release all the frustration you have about resort fees with the chain gun of your choice. Yes, most people won't get the chance to fire heavy weapons out of a Humvee or a helicopter in their lifetime, but in Vegas, you can. The shooting ranges offer all sorts of military hardware that you'd like to try out, with none of the maintenance or the cleanup. And with the pick up and drop off back at your hotel, it's a great way to blow off some steam after a rough day at the tables. Shooting up the list to 7th. Number 6. Roller Coasters and Rides You'd be surprised how many theme parks that Vegas has in close proximity to you once you get there. MGM Graham used to have one, but nowadays Circus Circus features the Adventure Dome. The stratosphere is topped with thrill rides, and who can forget about Slotzilla downtown? The Manhattan Express even goes partially through New York, New York, and its Big Apple Arcade. A benefit is that, unlike most things in Vegas, there isn't really an age limit associated, so your kids and teens can enjoy the experience with you. It's a cheaper alternative to joy rides in a Ferrari, though it's not quite as sleek or stylish. Also, some of those thrills might be a little much for you if you just finished the 40 ounce banana daiquiri. So keep that in mind before you line up for a number 6 recommendation. Number 5. Private Table Games Private tables are tough things to get in Vegas normally. Typically, it requires a certain amount of spend and a certain amount of people to play it. But in these times, since gambling revenues are down, it might be the best time to inquire with the pit boss about a special table for you and your friends. The casino gets a guaranteed session out of it, and you and your friends get a table just to keep to yourselves, so you're not instantly pushed out of the game when there's only one seat left. Also, it sure beats the odds on bubble craps and video blackjack, so there's that too. Number 4. Pool Cabanas Another slight spin on the private table is the private cabana. Now the pools at Las Vegas hotels are always going to have people in them as long as it's pool season, so there's not much to do about that. But with lowered capacity and some relatively low rates, getting reserved day beds and cabanas is actually much easier and more affordable than it normally is. Some pools like Circa and MGM Grand take your purchase price and turn it into a food and beverage credit, so you don't have to pay extra for the overpriced pool food. And it's one of the nicest places to socially distance, you don't wear your mask in the pool or at your seat, and the best part is the bucket of beer comes straight to you. So instead of complaining that you can't hit a day club, start one of your own with our number 4 idea. Number 3. Fine Dining. A nice thing about the low occupancy is that Vegas is going back to the basics. They're giving away the rooms, there's no shows to give out, and they're making the food really cheap, especially since many hotel casinos are sending out offers that include meal and beverage credits. There are plenty of Groupons, or even a few My Vegas rewards for some of these places too, so eating in Vegas has never been better. Or for that matter, cheaper. Granted, you won't get the buffet experience, but at least you'll enjoy the fruits of your casino tier credits in style. Just be sure to book in advance online, then get ready to enjoy the cheese and wine. A fine way to enjoy our third place tip. Number 2. Party Buses Runner up on this list is the party bus. Since you're restricted to groups of 10 people at the time of this recording, party bus is perfect since most of them only seat up to 10 people. They're usually affordable when they're rented as a group, allow you to bring on your own alcohol and snacks, and will play any sort of music that you like while ferrying you from destination to destination. Sightseeing, bar hopping, dinner, you name it, you've got a party on wheels for four hours. Pick up and drop off is right at your hotel's front door, so no need to run around to get the party started. Then, of course, you can try and cram everyone into your two queen room at Bally's for the after party if you're feeling brave enough. Or maybe opt for a proper lounge experience at Vicky's. It's appropriate for all sorts of crowds, ages, and budgets, making it the runner up on the list for your best ways to spend a Vegas vacation during this pandemic. Honorable Mentions Before we get to the best thing to do in Las Vegas right now, here are a few honorable mentions.
And finally, number one, group slot pulls. So if you do have some lucky friends that you feel safe with and they have a few bucks, then you can try your luck at a group slot pull. Slot pulls are ways for players to fight for a jackpot while investing very little of their own money in the process. You all get together, put in a pre-decided upon amount of money, play your spins, and if you win, you split the booty. The event works almost everywhere, requiring fairly lax planning, and of course attracts drink service as you hoot and holler. Also in my personal experience, I found that we're able to play a bit longer as the payback percentage is a bit better over a longer play session, meaning more free drinks. In the end, most group pulls I'll typically either win or lose about 30 bucks. It's not much in the grand scheme of things, but it's a fun way to spend a few hours, and it isn't limited to a specific time in Vegas, making it one of the most fun and flexible ways to socialize in Las Vegas right now. And who knows, you might even strike it big, thus solidifying the group pull as the number one pick of spending your recreational time in Vegas on our list. This has got to be the most ambitious crossover of all time. Suck it, Avengers. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's top 10 list and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time we meet, I've got another hotel history tour ready for you. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva!